this bad boy in hold. All right. What is up, everyone? My name is Simon Sejas, and I am out here in my front yard doing a quick audio test for my brand new Olympus LS10. This is an awesome little audio recorder and I just wanted everyone to hear how it sounded like um, in comparison or in conjunction with the video. So right now I'm using my Sony PXW-X70 camcorder along with a short shotgun mic. It's the ECM XM1 connected to XLR onto the body of the X70. And I'm recording separate audio with this Olympus LS10 and I'll be combining both together in post and we're gonna have to see how it, the video looks and how the audio sounds together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here into my little pouch and I am filming at the highest rate possible for this little LS10 recorder. It is at 96 kilohertz at 24 bit and it is a wave format so it's uncompressed wave files and I'm using a lavalier mic you can you can see right here right on the front part of my chest right in the very middle I have a power to wise lav mic and it's connected right into the Olympus so I'm gonna go and walk over here that way we can get a a little bit of audio test just to kind of get a gauge on how this bad boy works so I'm talking at a fairly low to moderate voice right now and I'm letting the lav mic capture my voice as I speak and yeah I'm pretty much in front of my house right now and just wanted to show you guys my palm tree so we cut the palm tree probably a few months ago we just chopped the head off because it was starting to grow really really tall and we didn't want to grow so much that it would get out of control where it would be hard to maintain so we decided just to top the head off and eventually we're going to end up cutting the whole thing down but uh, that's another project for a later time and yeah, so I'm in front of my house just walking around. And as you can see, the benefit of doing separate audio recording from the actual camera is you can get a constant audio source far away from the camera and have a really consistent and great sounding audio with the video that you are trying to record and produce. So I'm out here in the front just kind of walking around and talking to the camera and I could be doing interviews and just random stuff for myself and yeah I have no idea what I'm talking about right now but as you can see I'm just chilling in front of my house and I need to actually do the lawn again pretty soon it's starting to it's springtime now so the lawn is actually coming back to life in the winter times uh, the type of grass I have it kind of goes dormant and changes a little bit of color but now it's getting its green back oh man it's kind of windy out here too you can feel a big gush of wind and we'll see how the lavalier mic handles the wind um, as I'm talking so right here this is a little tree that's been growing for a few years now it's really small and it's starting to become something it was like nothing uh, when we first put this in and so now it's actually growing into something that's pretty cool and then we have this little this big guy right here it used to be a super small little tree when we first moved in over here at our house and Amy actually kind of pointed that out that this thing has been growing for the past eight years and it's such a big beautiful great shaded tree for the house and stuff so I think it's pretty awesome and then we have some of our other plants right here um, some plants Amy planted and some my mom gave me. This one right here was a plant that I got from my mom and it usually would grow back every spring 
but this time I guess it didn't it didn't survive but I hopefully I can get get it resoiled and plant some more of the same type of plants in there that'd be kind of good but yeah today is Saturday and I forgot it's I think it's the 28th so it's April 28th 2018 and it's about close to being seven o'clock maybe a little bit past seven and I'm gonna be actually heading into work probably within an hour or so and yeah I gotta get ready for work later on tonight and it's super super nice cool crisp breeze going on right now and the sun's not all crazy out like it usually is um, this past whole week but like I said this is just we're just doing an audio test we have 96 kilohertz 24 bit processing going on or uncompressed wave format and I'm gonna go ahead and sync this and post onto the footage that I'm getting from my video camera my Sony PXWX70 so I'm filming at a XAVC HD codec and I'm filming at 1080 60 frames per second at 50 megabits per second so I am not filming in the 4k I don't have the 4k upgrade for my camera but this is the highest resolution that my Sony PXWX70 has without the 4k licensing key which I do want to get at some point haven't had the opportunity to get my hands on it I was um, able at one point to get it for 250 bucks but I didn't jump on the opportunity at the time when it went on sale and that was probably like a, a couple of years back but I've had this camera for quite some time now and it's always been a really good camera especially that uses XLRs and I can use a little short shotgun mics on top I use it mainly for my skateboarding needs but I, I really like this little camera the only thing with the camera that I think is its shortcoming is its autofocus doesn't really have the greatest autofocus it likes to hunt but keep in mind I don't really use the autofocus too much what I like to do is use the AF or the autofocus to capture to get into focus on something and I'll press the AF button on the camera itself to lock the focus so I like to lock the focus determining on what the distance is between me and the subject but yeah the Sony PXWX70 is an amazing camera uh, image quality wise it's top notch I love it I love Sony cameras I love actually all cameras I have Canon cameras too I have an older X uh, XH A1 Canon prosumer camera that thing uh, has been around for quite some time and it's a HDV tape based but I do like it a lot it was actually a camera that they featured and used in the movie Crank 2 which I was pleasantly surprised that they actually use a prosumer camera for a movie like that they use multiple Canon XH A1s so that I think that was pretty cool and yeah I actually have that camera and I still use it to this day I think uh, the file sizes are pretty much small uh, a lot smaller than what we have now with uh, us pushing uh, Ultra HD 4k and up so yeah this is the audio that's coming from the Olympus LS 10 I was able to get this thing at such a great price on an app called let go so this actual L or linear PCM recorder was released in 2008 and and in 2009 it was reintroduced again at one of the trade shows for electronics and I believe it might have been the NAB trade show I can't remember but it got really rave reviews the audio quality was top-notch at the time it was released and you know fast forward 10 years later and it is still a freaking solid performer and it, and it actually holds its own compared to some of the newer recorders that are out right now and you can still pick this PCM recorder up for about $150 $250 still when it first was released in 2008 it was about 350 US dollars so 
that's a pretty good size chunk of change but for what it is and what it what it can do it is pretty awesome I pretty much in recording in manual mode and I set the levels to where it'll get my voice around negative 12 to negative 6 DB and uh, I have the limiter on so it won't clip and I think I have on the camera itself the Olympus it is on uh, low let me see let me get this bad boy out so I have the mic sensitivity at low and I actually have it gauged at in between six and seven for the sense or for the record volume and so far so good this thing is actually doing really well I put a hold on it earlier so if I touch any of the buttons it won't it won't do anything so it ever has everything locked so if anyone accidentally hits any of the buttons it doesn't do anything so that's pretty good the Olympus also comes with its own internal stereo microphones left and right left and right uh, microphones and they also come with their own foam windshield covers right here as you can see which this the quality that comes from these guys right here is pretty awesome too it's really really good quality I can use this thing for interviews or to capture sound around me so I, I think this is a very versatile little audio recorder and I'm very glad that I came across it on let go so there's always some uh, good finds when you go on offered up or let go or places of that nature and stuff and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get quality product so yeah if you want a really solid performer then I would suggest you take a look at the Olympus LS10 this thing is awesome so we're actually going to go inside oh, I'm going to go inside right now I'm going to sync everything in post and I'll let you guys hear for yourself and how great the audio sounds you know in correspondence in conjunction with my PXW X70 all right so all right thank you guys for watching and I will continue to be using this guy for a lot of future projects coming up and thank you guys for watching if you guys found this video helpful uh, please give me a like and subscribe all right you guys have a great great evening and I'll catch you next time peace That's it.